I have to admit, I am pleasantly surprised. When I heard a freshman, of all people, was throwing a huge party at her place as a way of saying hi to the college life, I was pretty skeptical. Freshmen aren't supposed to be trying to be cool or make a name for themselves just yet. Even though a majority do, and they end up with the reputation they never wanted in the first place. Gives the rest of us upperclassmen something to chuckle about. Needless to say, I usually avoid parties altogether. Not my thing, and a party with a bunch of kids fresh out of high school is not my cup of tea. Yet here I am, not even six months into my senior year, and I'm driving to your house. <laughs> if for no other reason than to check out the scene. I saw you sneak the invite onto my desk. <laughs> you were so cute, like a little bunny nervously approaching bigger bunnies. <laughs> I couldn't tell you how tempted I was to sneak up behind you and give you a little in your ear. What reaction? <laughs> <laughs> would you show? Would you scream? Oh, would you jump? Would little bumps crawl on your skin? Oh, I wanted to know so badly. Instead, I just watched idly as you finally mustered the courage to put the invite on my desk. I smirked at the tiny kiss you placed on it. God, you are too cute. That wasn't the first time I've caught you sneaking around my desk. Or me in general. Just a week before at lunch, you sat at the table right behind me with people you didn't even know. And it was obvious you weren't carrying on a conversation. They were a prop. <laughs> but I could hear you giggling at my terrible jokes. It was no accident when I got up that I let my arm brush your back. Your little jump was adorable. You wore lavender perfume that day. Lavender is my favorite. I was convinced you were trying to get my attention, so I gave a little to you. The week before that, you were pretending to study in the library, but were actually watching me help put books away. Watching me flex and stretch, maybe sweat a little as I worked. Oh, how it took all of my willpower not to laugh out loud when I heard you gasp. <laughs> when I dropped some books and I bent over enough so that you could see up my skirt. Oh, did you like the lacy black thong I was wearing? Did it make you wet, I wonder? Did you throb? I saw your thighs pressing together, shuffling under the table. It certainly didn't escape my notice when I caught you licking your lips. I wouldn't mind that cute tongue running over me. There are many memorable moments I caught you undressing me with your eyes. Make no mistake, I undressed you with mine as well. I would have loved nothing more than to make a woman out of you. I just might get that chance. After all, I am walking up to your front door.